how to grip a baseball bat as there are three grips that seem to be very common in baseball and i'm not going to tell you i'm actually going to show you by using this as you can see right here i have a pocket radar and what we're going to use this for is to get our exit velocity because the key is how hard we can hit the ball how consistent we can hit it and this will tell us how hard we're hitting it our grip can hurt us or help us so we're going to analyze and see which is the best grip to hit the ball the hardest the other thing i want to highlight is when it comes to the swing you want your palm to be up on your top hand and then your palm be down on your bottom hand your bottom hand you should be able to see the franklin sign or the nike sign the entire time as you're swinging through the zone once it starts rolling over too soon that's not what you want so you want to stay through it with this hand right here, this bottom hand, and this one palm up as far out front as you possibly can. So that's what we want to give us the right pass so we can hit the ball hard and be as consistent as we possibly can. Which brings me to the first grip, the death grip. And it's something that I did when I was younger and it's what I'm seeing now that I'm coaching. It's that grip where when a kid first grabs the bat, how they grip it and it's just like this you see that where they're in this tight position and it doesn't look athletic it doesn't look comfortable yeah it's it's the death grip and we're going to now test it out and see what happens <sighs> 70 miles per hour Seventy-three. Feel like I'm gonna blow out a rib cage right now with this swing. Sixty-nine. So when I was swinging this, it didn't even feel I could be accurate with my swing. I felt real uncomfortable and I felt lagging. I couldn't snap my wrist to get that extra bat speed. I felt like my arms were locked up and I just was real like a power lifter trying to swing, which if that makes any sense. <laughs> but I didn't feel athletic. Now we're going to go into the box grip. See a lot of young players do the box grip. That's a bit better. So let's test that out now. 78 okay that felt more comfortable felt more loose 76 79 we're getting up there that swing felt more fluid i felt like i was getting my top hand palm up and palm down but like i get get through it better i felt more athletic Ooh, i felt good with that felt really loose i felt more athletic i felt like i could throw the head i felt like i could use my wrist to get that extra whip and the last one we're going to do is we're going to do knuckles lined up or they say knocking at the door so you're going to line those up and we're going to hit that way okay 86 90 91 90 i felt more consistent with that swing it allowed me to control the barrel a lot more i felt like i had whip and as you can tell it had the highest exit velocity um i highly recommend you use it something i wish i would have learned when i was younger because i had that box grip when i was younger which i don't think there's anything wrong with it i just think the knuckles lined up allows you to be consistent allows you to hit the ball harder allows you to control the barrel allows you to get that palm up palm down more consistently and it gives you more bat speed so i hope that watching this you realize that you can use it the box grip or the knuckles lined up but i prefer the knuckles lined up it's what i teach all my kids so with that being said, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in another video.